What's happening, everybody? We're back at it out here in the shop, working on the boys' Monte Carlo. I'm in the process of putting an outer tie rod end on the passenger side here. And we are also gonna have to do a driver side rubber brake hose uh, when he drops that off. It's probably gonna be Saturday, so we're not gonna get to that today. But uh, the missus is working nights tonight. She's gone. So I figured I would come out here in the shop and uh, at least get the tie rod end knocked out. I had to order a set of uh, brass washers for the oil pan drain plug. As you guys see in the last video, we did a tune up and an oil change and everything on uh, his 355. And I don't know if you guys can see under there very good, but he's leaving quite the puddle there. And what it is, is his drain plugs got them big uh, white plastic uh, washers that go on the drain plug to help seal it. Well, it was cracked or somebody over time over tightened and it kind of mushroomed and you know, it, got, it cracked it so it's dripping. So I'm gonna use like I use on the El Camino, a, a soft brass washer. So I ordered, uh, I think it was uh, 240 different size washers off of uh, Amazon for $13.99 or something. They'll be here tomorrow. So we're gonna have to redrain the oil and change a washer on that drain plug and uh, hopefully he gets the brake hose here, um, possibly tomorrow night, maybe Saturday, not sure, but when he gets that here, we'll tackle that. But I'm in the process of doing the tie rod end. Uh, and as you guys can see here, what I did, I put some uh, tape on the engagement on the sleeve here, and uh, just used my impact and spun the nut off and getting ready to hammer the tie rod down and get it knocked off. But a lot of people use spray paint or whatever to, to you know to kind of go off a of reference to find out where uh, you know how where the threads were at. But with this being on the car ramps, it's it's fairly straightforward. Uh, you can you know it ain't gonna throw the front end off. Now if you were running a different wheel, which we're running front runners, if you were running a different wheel, the wheel would set in farther, and it would be harder to get to you know the tie rod end, the knuckle there, and the washer and all that. But being that he's running a front runner, it's, it's, it's simple. So that's what we're out here doing. Um, I might get the oil drained out of here tonight while I'm under here also. And uh, that way when the parts come in, they're supposed to be here tomorrow. I can go ahead and get that washer changed out and refill it with oil. And uh, he'll be good to go there. Um, I asked him why he never changed that outer brake hose or the rubber brake hose last year like I told him to after we got the engine installed. And he said it, you know, after driving it, it seemed like the air come out of it and it wasn't pulling. Well, when I took it for a test drive in the last video that you guys seen, it was definitely still pulling to the passenger side hard, which tells me that the driver's side caliper is not working or it's not getting fluid to it. Um, when we bleed it, it bleeds out fine, but it's not, uh, when you press the pedal down, it's not engaging the pad. So the hose is cracked and frayed. So I think it's restricted. It's not letting fluid through or enough anyway to, to compress the pads. But either way, if it's a caliper, we'll get it fixed. You know, we're gonna try the hose first, which it needs a hose 100%. And if that doesn't cure it, then we'll go ahead and change the caliper also. So. I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod. I'm gonna climb back under here and get this tie rod off and we're gonna measure them up to make sure they're the same length. And uh, I'll put my new tape on the new one. That way I know how far the engagement goes and we'll get her slapped back on. Alrighty, mission complete on the tie rod end. It was bad. And like I was saying earlier, if I kind of confused a couple people, with the car sitting with all of its weight on the tires, it's hard for that tire to turn when you're changing the tie rod end out versus if you have a, you know, a hydraulic jack or a floor jack underneath the center and then jack stands. Um, as soon as you drop that tie rod end, your wheel can turn 
left or right, and then you wouldn't find, you know, the correct spot where it needed to be. And all tie rod ends are different. You know, you're not going to get one 100% the same exact length. Uh, you know, different companies make different uh, sizes. So I matched it up, and it was pretty close. But uh, I just went by, you know, how the the sleeve or the shank of the tire rod fit into the hole because I know that my tire didn't move at all. So I just kept turning it until it fit in there nice and straight and sucked up evenly. So that's how I ended up doing it. But yeah, this tire rod is, she's wasted. You can see it's missing. It was bad. I mean, the other one you could barely move. The new one, you know, you could, the shaft, you could barely even move it with this one toast. I'm probably still going to have him take this car um, out to see Stevie, the guy that does our tires. He also does our front end alignments, uh, you know, on our stock vehicles. He's not going to be able to obviously do a front end alignment on the Blazer or nothing because when you do performance uh, cars, you know, drag cars, you want the front end alignment set where you think the ride height's going to be going down track. I don't think they've uh, they've ever messed with anything like that, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Hopefully we'll get back to work soon on the Blazer. Uh, there's a couple people that know um, that I talked to off camera that know what's been going on, um, why we haven't been out in the shop, why uh, no work's been getting done. But maybe I'll do a video on that uh, here in the future, um, let you guys know what was going on and what is going on. But uh, back to the hot rods. So tie rod end complete. Um, I am going to get the drain pan cleaned out, which we have just over there in the, the trash. Uh, I had it draining last time when we changed Ty's oil. So I'm going to wipe it all out, and I'm probably going to change, uh, at least drop the oil tonight. Yeah, you can still see a little bit of that old black shit running there. I'm going to clean it out real good and make sure there's nothing in it. That way we can reuse uh, the oil. You know, that's a $110 a case, and that doesn't even have 10 minutes of runtime on this oil, so... I'm going to make sure the drain pan's cleaned up nice and good, and that way we can reuse the oil to put back in the car after I change that uh, washer out on the, the plug. Wait for him to get the brake hose and get the brake situated. you got to have brakes. And I'm also going to be changing. i got brackets that I, I built for the um, top of the radiator here that I'm going to be installing since it's here. I'm going to probably I might do that tonight also. Um, he has a shroud, which he, he had the shroud on it off of, uh, he talked to Lloyd that's got the Malibu and, uh, cause they don't make, uh, you know, just a, a nice cover that locks into the radiator for a G body. They're always the two piece fan shrouds uh, that always goes on. So Lloyd actually found a cover from a 79 Camaro. I do believe he said, and that bolts into the stock location all the way across and it fits the tanks so whether it fits this tank or not i have no idea i have to have the boy bring it over but either way i made brackets this is hollow so i'm just going to go to a bolt hole and bolt it in that way uh we can get rid of the ghetto ness zip ties hey if it works is it really a bad idea i mean the vibration would probably break these over time but uh even without these on here, when I sat this radiator in here, the radiator hoses were keeping it in uh, position. As you guys can see, I used rubber, uh, I cut a piece of rubber hose and stuck in here because this radiator does not fit. It's for a G body, they said, but you know, anytime you got metal, rub it on aluminum, the metal is going to win, so it would definitely spring a leak. So. I just put rubber in there just to be safe, but I'm going to put them brackets on, like I said, also, and uh, get the oil drained out. I do have to get my bench cleaned off. It's uh, a disaster area, but like I said, I haven't been out here, so 
I think first time I've been out here um, was when we did the tune up on Ty's car. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put you guys back on the tripod. I'm gonna get this bucket cleaned out or the drain pan cleaned out, pick up a few tools, get this draining, and I'll bring you guys right back. taking it for a test drive to make sure that the tie rod end was all good and uh, it's it's good it doesn't go straight down the road but I'm probably still gonna have him take it over to Stevie's and get a front end alignment that way he's not wearing on his brand new tires I did add a when it was warming up I had to add a quart of transmission fluid because uh, the quart gasket uh, on the pans leaking a little bit and he hasn't added any since uh, Tony fixed the transom at the last time, so uh, that was probably a year ago, so it went through a quart in a year, so I added that. I had to bring it down. I was going to drain the oil. I did get the pan, the drain pan all cleaned out, but I had to fire it up, check the training fluid, um, and get it off the car ramps anyway, because we can't do the brake uh, hose with it on the car ramps. So I figured I would take it for a little quick ride and see how everything felt. And it felt pretty good. So we're all good there. Everything looks uh, intact still. Man, this car runs good. Uh, he's got himself a nice car. You know, I almost hate to put that solid roller in this setup and uh, lose its drivability because, if man, this thing just cruises down the road, it's got power. Um, but we were all young once too and once you go fast you always want to go faster so let me get you guys off the stand and we'll close this video out real quick like i said uh we were all young once you go fast you always want to go faster so that's totally up to him on uh putting a solid roller in it right now it's i mean the drivability i mean it just cruises down the road i did end up getting the brackets put on the radiator i'm still gonna have him bring that shroud over and I'm going to wait to, to drain the oil. I got thinking about it. You know, there ain't no sense of leaving that, you know, brand new oil 
under the car, letting bugs or dust, dirt, what have you get into it. So when we got it up in the air, uh, getting ready to do the brake hose, we'll go ahead and change that uh, washer, that copper uh, or brass washer on the drain plug and get it all set. But uh, yeah, it's all coming together good. He's ready to rock and roll as far as front end components go. I mean, it's nice and tight now. So he's good to go there, get them brakes fixed and he'll be ready for the season. So, but anyways, guys, it's just gonna be a short video. I figured I'd do a little video of me messing around out here on this car today. Uh, as usual, I really appreciate everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. All right, bye-bye.